there was a feast of the Jews, and Jesus went up to Jerusalem. Now, there is in Jerusalem, at the ship gate, a pole called in Hebra Bedsta, with five porticos. In this large, in this, lie a large number of ill, blind, lame, and crippled. One man was there who had been ill for for thirty-eight years. When Jesus saw him lying there and knew that he had been ill for a long time, he said to him, Do you want to be well? The sick man answered him, Sir, I have no one to put me into the pool when the water is stirred up. While I am not my way, someone else gets down there before me. Jesus said to him, Rise, take up your mat, and walk. Immediately, the man became well, took up his mat, and walked. Now that day was a Sabbath. So the Jews said to the man who was cured, It is the Sabbath, and it is not lawful for you to carry your mat. He answered them, The man who made me well told me, Take up your mat and walk. They asked him, Who is the man who told you, Take up and walk? The man who was healed did not know who it was, for Jesus had slipped away, since there was a crowd there. After this, Jesus found him in the temple area and said to him, Look, you are well. Do not sin anymore, so that nothing worse may happen to you. The man went and told the Jews that Jesus was the one who had made him well. Therefore, the Jews began to persecute Jesus because he did this on a Sabbath. The Gospel of the Lord. Today at the beginning of the Mass, we said, all who, are, all who are thirsty, come to the waters, says the Lord. Though you have no money, come and drink with joy. And in the first reading and in the Gospel appears against the water, the water of life. In the Gospel, this Man, the sick man, received healthy after many years in that condition, the water of life. Jesus is the water of life. You have difficulties, you're on desert sometimes, many times. You need water, fresh water. And that water is Jesus Christ himself. The water flows from his heart on the cross. This is the water of the salvation, the water that purify us, the water that give us new, new strength against temptations, against problems in our life. Today the Lord invites us to come to him and refresh our soul in his presence, refresh our heart in his company, Jesus is the water of life, and we need this water. When more difficult is our situation, our history, our history, when more difficult is the environment around us, we need this water. We need Jesus Christ. This is the answer for our crosses. He is our strength in order to come from our many difficulties. Come to me, says the Lord, and you found rest. You found rest in your soul, in your heart. And trust in me, you are not alone. This water is the water for eternal life. Refresh. Come to me, says the Lord, and drink with joy. Let us pray in silence. 